I, when we uh, when I first got to Japan, uh, uh, we flew into Tokyo, uh, and uh, and then we took the train from Tokyo to Masawa, Japan, which is about a three hour trip by train. And we got to the train station there, and we had a taxi take us to the base, and uh, uh, the base is at more or less at the end of Masawa. And we had to go all the way through the base, uh, the main base, to get to what we call the hill where the security squadron was, uh, where I would be based for two years. And then we were able to get uh, back off base with our uh, orders, with our papers for orders. And right off the base to the right-hand side as you go off out through the gate was an alley. And in that alley was nothing but bars that the GIs went to. So uh, being young and everything, we uh, decided to go there. And I went into a bar called the Sapporo Bar. And that's where I found my brother, who had been stationed there for about six months before I got over there. And uh, he uh, was surprised to see me because he didn't really know I was coming. And I didn't know that he was actually at that particular base. But uh, some of the things that we learned over there was um, when you go downtown to, uh, to restaurants, most of the restaurants back in those days in the 60s, you had to take your shoes off to go into the main restaurant. And you pretty much sat on the floor. You didn't sit. You had a table, but it was a low table. And you pretty much sat around the table with your uh, kind of like uh, what you see Indians in a movie do, except when they sit down. So, uh, and one of the easiest things I found over there was how to learn uh, learning how to use chopsticks, uh, because you had to request uh, utensils if you didn't want to try to use them. They had one dish over there that we uh, that we uh, I found out they call yakasoba, which is like a continuous noodle, and people would take the bowl and kind of tilt it to the side a little bit, and just take the chopsticks and keep pushing it in their mouth until they finished it. Um, but um, the people were very friendly with the uh, with the GIs and. Uh, and everything they had, even back then, they had street food that uh, that they served in the alley for uh, GIs. They had balls of rice that were wrapped in seaweed with a cherry inside of it that surprisingly was very good. And they had uh, meat on a, uh, like a shish kebab with the meat and onions and stuff that... Uh, People told me it was uh, was dog meat, and I, and one thing I remember, I never did see a dog <laughs> in Japan, so I don't know if that was true or not. But uh, but uh, anyway, uh, they had a lot of lot of uh, game parlors that you could go and play play video games, uh, and they had. Um, a lot of uh, had theaters that played uh, English movies, and uh, they also played uh, Japanese movies with English uh, subtitles um, that we would go to sometimes. And the base had everything you needed anyway. It had the uh, uh, cafeterias, it had a bowling alley, it had ball fields, um, it had uh, everything that we needed to, uh, to not even go off a of base if we didn't want to. But uh, a lot of the touring uh, around uh, Masawa was very good. Uh, Masawa, Japan is, is, uh, is about, back at that in the 60s, was about 29,000 people. But now, which doesn't include the military, um, now it's about 30 some thousand in population. Um, but um, it's still considered a small town. And the United States has a... Uh, has a naval uh, air uh, wing, has a military uh, air force air wing, 
Japan has an air wing there. And then we also have the, still have the uh, intelligence up on what we call the hill. I found out when uh, sometimes we go to the uh, rec room and they sell beer and beer was very cheap. Um, I remember one beer I tried here in the United States when I was uh, first drinking was Carlin's Black Label beer. It tasted like burnt wood. It was terrible. But when I got to Japan and you could buy the 10 cent a can, it tasted very damn good. So uh, I remember the old commercial where they would have it say Carlin Black Label. It had Mabel Black Label, Carlin's Black Label beer. And it's still uh, sold in Canada uh, by Munson, who owns Coors. Uh, they still sell the beer there. So uh, it's still in existence. But uh, Japanese beer over there was different. It's, uh, it's more or less made out of rice. But, uh, and sake is also. Sake is uh, kind of a rice wine that you actually serve warm instead of cold that goes with most every meal. Um, it's very good, but it's a uh, high uh, alcohol content. But uh, so uh, it would it would get you high pretty quick. Um, we encountered uh, 